we are in what we call the log cabin room though it's probably larger than most log cabins that were ever built in Garrett County all of the lumber in this room came from a very early barn you can see a lot of the marks from the sawing or the axes and you'll notice we have much spinning and weaving equipment this large wheel came out of Kitzmiller they are all local pieces uh, every fireplace needs a bare rug in Garrett County so we have that the fireplace is made after the fireplace that existed in Meshick Browning's cabin down Sang Run. There are many, many early pieces here. The andirons actually belong to Meshick Browning and were in his fireplace. We have one of his bear traps. I'm not sure that this is it, but we do have one. Over the mantle, is a Revolutionary War pistol that's been altered somewhat um, at one end. Then we have a Springfield rifle from the Civil War and candle molds, coffee grinders, and on either end of the mantle, privy lanterns made of pierced tin. Over here is a cabinet full of early pistols and guns given to us by a patron in Deer Park, Cecil Minard. He gave us his whole gun collection. And again, another um, coffee grinder. We try to have various dresses here that maybe were worn during the early days in Garrett County. This is a very early stand that could have been in a cabin and we have many older artifacts with it. This is a portrait of the famous Meshick Browning author of 44 years in the life of a hunter. We also have daguerreotypes of him. Back in this little al alcove, we've put all kinds of things that a cabin may have had. This is a candle box, very rare folk art. There are so many things back in there. This stove is from the end of the Civil War. It came out of Grantsville. It's a very large cook stove. It um, was the hardest thing to get into this museum because it was so extremely heavy. Um, I always show school children a waffle iron to be used in a fireplace like that. The weight of it just blows their minds. Over here is a beaten biscuit machine and a dough tray. Also probably cabin type things. This dry sink from a cabin in McHenry is a fabulous piece of folk art with all of its original painting still on it. We also have a very early piece of clothing. We have a pre-Civil War musket from Garrett County, uh, probably from the Browning family. And the two portraits here are two of our better artifacts. This couple <coughs> lived at Selby's Port which is now under Yokogany Lake, but it was a Maryland town. An itinerant painter came through and did their portraits, we think in the 1820s or 30s. He was Garrett County's first doctor, and she was his wife 
who was from one of the earliest families in Garrett County. Her name was Charlotte Coddington, and she was born in 1802. Dr. Fry was born in 1800. When these came to us, they were so covered with smoke that we had them professionally restored, and things came out in these pictures we didn't even know existed in the pictures. And we were told that the most expensive paint for a portrait was yellow. There's yellow all over her clothing. So these were not inexpensive, but for the earliest doctor and his wife um, in Garrett County. We have a drop leaf table, numerous handwoven coverlets. There are about five in this room and some in other rooms. Lanterns, teapots, coffee pots. It, it's to just pretty much show you what could have been in a Garrett County cabin pre-Civil War. This stone fireplace was built for us by a retired Garrett County minister, Reverend Galen Hickson. He did an excellent job. He picked the stones. He, we tried to duplicate what the fireplace would have been like in Meshick Browning's cabin at Sang Run. Here we have a loft built into the log cabin. Um, probably the loft was for the children. We have a couple of cradles, doll cradles. One, the other one we're not too sure. It could have been for a very small baby. The bed is a youth bed, a spool bed, rope bed. And there are other um, things that maybe would have been in your early log cabins. Downstairs, we have the parents' rope bed, which is cherry and which is a Garrett County bed. We keep it with the quilt drawn so we can teach children how a rope bed worked. On the bed, you'll see a lot of early coverlets and quilts. Um, we, we are blessed with quite a collection. Under the parents' bed is what's called the trundle bed, which rolls out on wheels for the children to sleep in. It would come out a lot greater distance, but we've got too much here to, to deal with. And you'll find like old glasses, a fiddle, a very old fiddle, some more guns of the log cabin era in Garrett County. The chest of drawers was built by Captain John Jarbo of the Union Army at the end of the war.